Hi, in this tutorial I am going to demonstrate how to implement the cool library called uh, Glide Text to Image. Uh, basically, this uh, library enables to only uh, type a text and it uh, generates automatically an image based on that uh, text. You can see in the first example a castle in the sky. This is uh, another example of uh, a puppy on a bed. You can see uh, several examples as well with uh, this uh, text. This is uh, another uh, exciting exam example of uh, a, blue, a blue car within a, a grass as a background. I'm going to, to show how to achieve this uh, result. And uh, first of all, I would like uh, to thank the, the creator of this uh, library and also uh, to say a big uh, thank you to Nerdy Rodnet who forked the, the library and enables it uh, to run it uh, locally and uh, not uh, just on the collab, uh, Google Collab. So uh, first of all, we are going to, to git clone. Uh, of course, I will uh, leave uh, a text, fi text file with all the instructions and the setup process in my GitHub uh, library. So first of all, uh, please notice that we are uh, creating a, a Conda environment. It's based on Python 3.9. Then uh, uh, we are going to check our uh, version of uh, the CUDA. Mine is uh, 11. Then uh, we are going to the PyTorch uh, uh, website and copy the relevant um, command and uh, run it. This process will install uh, PyTorch and uh, relevant uh, dependencies like the, the CUDA libraries needed for the PyTorch. Okay, I will uh, do a fast forward uh, for the, the last uh, steps. Now we are going to, to pip install uh, several libraries that uh, is uh, needed to run uh, this uh, Glide uh, library. Okay, uh, next we are going to, to edit a text to IM uh, Python file. Uh, and this is the, the text that we are going to replace with our text. Once again, uh, thanks for uh, Nerdy Roadnet for this uh, fork. And now basically uh, this uh, library will uh, run and create several images with uh, our custom text. I've made of course a fast forward process and uh, basically it would be the, the first uh, phase. We are going to, to demonstrate here uh, three phases, three steps. This is the first one that it's uh, creating uh, images out of text. And then we are going to do go to the next step. The next step is combining with the background. We're going to choose a, a, a grass, a green grass a background and to merge it with our custom text. And the third uh, process would be similar for the first process, just with the uh, another uh, argument of a um, less noisy image. So uh, let's wait for the first process to, to end to see the result.
Okay, the process is about uh, to finish. You can see there are uh, three or four examples. This is the, the first one. This is uh, uh, the whole uh, the whole images together, the four images together, which is uh, the, the cast and the sky. I will uh, run another example. The, the next one will be a puppy on the bed and I will run it again. Uh, please notice that uh, the second process is uh, is a little bit uh, faster. Another important issue, the, the result is an image that is a 256 on 256 uh, a square image, not a high resolution image. However, I will leave a link in the description and above that you can uh, run a, another tutorial, another tutorial that can improve and enhance uh, your image. Uh, a very good tutorial. So you can see this is the, the second result. And now we will continue, continue to the next step. Uh, this is merging between the background and your text. Uh, our new text will be a blue car and we are going to merge it with a, a grass uh, uh, image and once again uh, run the, the process it's another um, python called in paint so we run it uh, the same as the pre previous one this is of course a fast forward process it will took, take about uh, 15 minutes 20 minutes so this is the result, very good results, basically it's uh, amazing. Okay, the, the last process is uh, with the noise reduction called clip guided. Our text now will be a dolphin in the pool and we are going to, to run this uh, Python file named clip guided.py. Once again, the process is about uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. This is uh, basically the timeline. I'm running it here in a, a fast forward uh, process. So the, the result will be similar for the similar as the, the first step. The last step is about uh, to finish and we can uh, see the result of uh, dolphin in the pool. I would like to thank you for watching uh, my tutorial. You, you are most welcome to share it and subscribe to my, cha my channel. Thank you.